Artificial intelligence, otherwise known as AI, has become a ubiquitous term in our modern world, but what exactly is AI? In its simplest form, AI is a branch of computer science that aims to create machines capable of intelligent behavior, similar to that of humans and animals. Today's video will delve into the basics of AI, its types, practical applications, benefits, challenges, and glimpse into its future. But before we begin, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because we strive hard to bring the latest and greatest news from the world of technology. This is AI Simply Explained. AI is not a new concept. Its roots can be traced back to the mid-20th century when a generation of scientists, mathematicians, and philosophers had fully embraced the concept of machines performing tasks that would typically require human intelligence like visual perception, speech recognition, and decision-making. At the heart of AI is the concept of machine learning, a subset of AI where machines learn from data. Unlike traditional programming where a machine follows explicitly programmed instructions, machine learning enables a machine to learn and adapt from experience. This is achieved through algorithms that allow computers to analyze and interpret complex data, learn patterns, and make decisions with minimal human intervention. It's like teaching a child to recognize shapes. You show them examples and, over time, they start to understand to the point that as an adult, they could see a thousand shapes and possibly only get one wrong. An example of machine learning is the recommendation system used by Netflix. Netflix uses machine learning algorithms to analyze data such as users viewing history, ratings, and searches to provide personalized recommendations for each user. The more data the algorithm analyzes, the more accurate the recommendations become. These recommendations become tailored and personalized to improve user experience and customer satisfaction. Another big concept of AI is deep learning. Deep learning, a subfield of machine learning, is a fascinating and powerful part of artificial intelligence. It's like teaching a computer to think and learn in a way that's inspired by how our human brains work. Let's break it down into simpler terms. Imagine you're teaching a child to recognize a cat. You show them many pictures of cats, and over time, they start to notice features like fur, whiskers, and pointy ears. Deep learning does something similar, but with computers. It involves feeding a computer system a lot of data, like thousands of pictures of cats, and the system learns to recognize patterns and features in this data. At the core of deep learning are neural networks. Think of a neural network as a complex web of neurons, similar to the human brain. In the brain, neurons process and transmit information. In a neural network, artificial neurons, or nodes, are arranged in layers and work together to process data. Here is a simple way to visualize it. First, we have the input layer. This is where the neural network receives the data. For example, if the task is image recognition, the input layer receives the pixels of the image. Then we have the hidden layers. These are layers of neurons between the input and the output. Each layer picks out specific features of the data to learn. In our cat example, one layer might focus on detecting edges, another on recognizing shapes, and another on identifying textures. Next is the output layer. This layer gives the final result. It takes what the hidden layers have learned and makes a decision, like identifying whether the image is a cat or not. The adjective deep in deep learning refers to the use of multiple hidden layers in the neural network. Neural networks are the under-the-hood algorithm that power the most powerful generative AI tools today, like ChatGPT, DALI, Gemini, BARD, and many, many others. AI has many incredible use cases, and it can be applied in every industry and in our daily lives. We'll list a few examples. In healthcare, AI algorithms assist in diagnosing diseases, predicting patient outcomes, and personalizing treatment plans. For example, machine learning models can analyze medical images like X-rays or MRIs, identifying anomalies such as tumors at almost 100% accuracy. This helps streamline the job of a radiologist and saves patients from having to get a second or third opinion. 
In genomic sequencing, neural networks can take in gigantic data sets of the human genome to identify variations and mutations in DNA that are associated with specific diseases or conditions more efficiently and quicker than traditional computing methods. The automotive industry is undergoing a revolution with the integration of AI, particularly through autonomous vehicles. Self-driving cars powered by deep learning can interpret and navigate complex environments, making real-time decisions based on sensor data. This technology promises to revolutionize transportation by reducing accidents and improving traffic flow. In sports, AI has revolutionized many aspects of every popular sport in the world. We have seen players suddenly become unemployed because AI has come up with advanced analytics to show that their performances, from a statistical standpoint, do not add to wins. And we saw those same players that evolved their game or are unwilling to change. We've seen teams revolve their game plan or tactics purely on statistics, even if the schemes are considered untraditional. A great example of this is the Houston Rockets under coach Mike D'Antoni, whose philosophy was to over-rely on the three-point shot because, statistically, it had the best points per possession as compared to any two-point shot, barring layups. This might sound interesting to you. Did you know that autocorrect is AI? The algorithm behind autocorrect is a fascinating blend of several technologies, primarily involving natural language processing, otherwise known as NLP, a branch of AI that deals with interaction between computers and human language. The autocorrect algorithm is a system that combines error detection, contextual analysis, and machine learning to correct and predict text as you type. It's constantly evolving, learning from the vast amounts of data it processes and from individual user behavior to become more accurate in assisting with our digital writing. As we can see, AI is a transformative force offering numerous benefits in many sectors. AI excels in automating routine tasks from manufacturing processes to administrative office work. This automation leads to increased efficiency, cost reduction, and the ability to perform tasks at a scale. It can also analyze vast amounts of data quickly and accurately providing valuable insights. It can analyze far more data than a spreadsheet could ever imagine or any analysis done by hand. In the consumer sector, AI enables the personalization of services and products to increase customer satisfaction, engagement, sales, and loyalty. But with all these benefits to AI come a load of challenges. AI's capability for processing vast amounts of data can lead to invasive surveillance, impacting individual privacy. Facial recognition technologies, for instance, raise concerns about unauthorized tracking and profiling. AI systems, especially in areas like autonomous vehicles or healthcare, must make decisions that align with ethical norms. Programming ethical decision-making into AI is complex and fraught with philosophical and practical challenges. AI systems learn from data, and if this data is biased, the AI's decisions will likely be biased too. This is a significant issue in facial recognition systems and in hiring where biased data can lead to racial, gender, or socioeconomic discrimination. Many AI models, particularly deep learning systems, are often seen as black boxes with decision-making processes that are not transparent or easily understood. This lack of explainability makes it difficult to identify and correct bias. As AI automates more tasks, there's a growing concern about the displacement of jobs, particularly in sectors like manufacturing, consumer service, and even some white-collar professional services. This shift towards an AI-driven economy creates a skill gap. Workers need retraining and upskilling to adapt to new roles that AI and automation are creating. But are workers willing to adapt to this kind of change? We'll see in the near future. The future of AI has boundless potential and profound implications. As we advance further into the 21st century, AI is expected to evolve in ways that are currently unimaginable, reshaping our understanding of technology and its interaction with the human experience. The pace of AI development is accelerating exponentially. We are moving from systems that can perform specific tasks to more sophisticated ones that start to approximate human-like understanding and reasoning. The future will likely see AI systems that can learn new tasks without human intervention, adapt to changing environments, and accumulate knowledge over time.
Currently, the leading AI models and algorithms involve large language models, or LLMs, which are notable for their ability to achieve general-purpose language understanding and generation. OpenAI's GPT models, Google's Palm, Meta's Llama, Microsoft's Bing Chat, X's Grok, just to name a few, are taking the stage with their incredible ability to generate content. We are seeing a rise in human capabilities with the usage of these tools. With the rise of these LLMs comes a very important topic, which is ethical AI and governance. As AI becomes more powerful, the ethical implications become more significant. The future will likely focus heavily on developing ethical AI frameworks and governance structures to ensure AI is used responsibly. This includes addressing issues like privacy, bias, transparency, and the impact of AI on employment. One big framework to come out recently is RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's a framework for retrieving facts from an external knowledge base to ground large language models on the most accurate, up-to-date information and to give users insight into these LLM's generative process. It ensures that the model has access to the most current reliable facts and that the user has access to the model's sources, ensuring that its claims can be checked for accuracy and ultimately trusted. Don't forget to subscribe to AI Symbiosis. We hope that was a clear and concise explanation of what AI is. Let us know what your thoughts are on AI in the comment section below. Did you know that AI is actively rendering professions obsolete? We have made another video discussing which professions are in deep trouble because of AI. To find out, click on the video link popping up and we will catch you there in a second.